Hoa aims to tell the story of a fairy through a puzzle platformer adventure. At least, that's what the developers claim, but I've gotta ask, puzzle platformer? Really? That's a brave claim. To me, a puzzle platformer is a specific type of puzzle game that presents its hopefully mind-bending challenges dressed up as a platformer, but this latter aspect always remains nothing more than dressing on the salad. As for Hoa, I'm having difficulty counting even 5 puzzles throughout the whole experience. Instead, how about we just call this game an entry-level platformer? You spend your playtime controlling your cute little fairy through these ridiculously pretty hand-painted 2D environments. The different biomes serve as chapters with two goals each. One, navigate your way through the rooms to activate two to three runes to awaken given zone's lord. And two, collect five of these yellow butterflies, which you then weirdly offer up to the lord and absorb for a new power. Kind of out of place if you ask me, but what do I know, I guess. I call them lords, but what I really mean is notable characters in our protagonist's backstory. And I said powers, but I should probably just say new moves. And I think those are important distinctions, as lords and powers might make you think there's action or even combat involved when playing Hoa, but in fact, there's none. The most aggressive moments you will experience are jumping on top of these metal thingy-mabobs to gain height on your jumps, or them kicking you. Other than these occasions, and maybe a cutscene or another, aggression is completely absent from Hoa. Is that an issue? Uh, I don't think so, no. Not every single game has to be a bloodbath for it to be enjoyable. At this point, we've stated Hoa doesn't really offer any puzzling, neither any combat. What does it have then? As mentioned, it has the looks. The beautiful background scenery, the adorable little bobs of the greenery as you jump on them, or the pretty little collected butterflies following you around, all work together to create an enchanting end result. This is then further supported by the outstanding background instrumentals and the good sound work. My one and only complaint in this regard would be this one weird sound, like a, like a rusty spring that would be heard occasionally in grassy areas. That one, I, I really couldn't figure out where to put that one. Hoa also has a story of some sorts, obviously. I don't want to spoil anything, but safe to say, it's really nothing big, and rather feels like it's an afterthought or probably something unfinished. Controls are fluent and responsive, however, so at the end of the day what we're left with is a super casual A to B platformer experience. There's just one more teeny tiny memo left in the porcelain shop that we have to address. Start to finish, Hoa would keep you occupied for around 2 hours, 2.30 tops if you decide to analyze every single pixel in the background, or fall asleep mid-game. Now to be fair, at the same time, it's not like you must spend an arm and a leg to become a proud owner, as for me, 10 euros for a 2 hour experience is just within the realm of acceptability. There's not much more left to say about Hoa, I'm afraid. Maybe just to answer the title of this review piece, is Hoa an overpriced flash game? Well, you could make arguments for this being the case, looking at its length for example, or at its challenge factor, even looking at the story. However, I think it's not even remotely arguable that the presentation quality elevates it way above a browser flash game and pretty much justifies the price point. It might also be worth mentioning 
that this seems to be the first published game of the developers, but then again, if you have any more content in mind you'd like to add to your game, you just edit and delay the release, so whatever. Anywho, if any of what you heard sounds interesting to you, I have absolutely no issue recommending Hoa as a short and casual experience, but if two hours is in the realm that's not worth your money, I can completely understand that as well. Just like that, we've reached the end of another review, and the time has arrived to say our loving goodbyes. We hope you found what you came looking for, if you did, we'd be grateful if you pleased the machine gods by liking our video, if you'd like to come along for the next one, don't hesitate to subscribe, if you have any game you'd like for us to check out, let us know in the comment section, every now and then, consider giving a non-violent game a chance, and we'll see you again soon.